What's good, y'all? It's your man, Sam Ant, here at Viral Hip Hop News. Go ahead and hit that like button and make sure you hit the notification bell to get all the latest notifications every time I drop a video here on the platform. I do appreciate it. All right, so a couple weeks ago, I want to say on the, on the podcast, Oh God and I talked about the Russell Simmons documentary set to uh, premiere at the Sundance Film Festival in January with Oprah Winfrey headlining the production team of this documentary. She took a lot of backlash for this. We all remember Oprah Winfrey was front and center of the Michael Jackson documentary, Leaving Neverland. Had the two gentlemen. I don't know if she had to produce. Matter of fact, I think she had the producer on as well. After the documentary released on her network, did some numbers, took a lot of backlash for that. We talked to Michael Jackson's niece and nephew, who was not pleased and represented the family and told us that the family wasn't pleased about Oprah's involvement in the documentary and gave us some information on how they feel about Oprah personally. So it left a, a, a nasty taste in a lot of people's mouths, Oprah Winfrey doing the Michael Jackson documentary and then we see her doing Russell Simmons, 50 Cent and other celebrities alike came out publicly bashing Oprah Winfrey saying, why are you doing this to the brothers? There's so many other men out here being charged, being accused right now of heinous acts and we don't see the battery being charged up for them as much as they are for our black entertainers, our black stars, our black moguls. Well, today, or oh, maybe like yesterday, a little late last night, it was released that Oprah Winfrey is stepping away from the documentary that centered on a former music executive who was accused of misconduct. Now, she goes on to say, I've decided that I will no longer be executive producer of the untitled Kirby Dick and Amy Zering documentary, and it will not air on Apple TV, Winfrey said in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter. First and foremost, I want it to be known that I unequivocally believe and support the women. Their stories deserve to be told and heard. In my opinion, there's more work to be done on the film to illuminate the full scope of what the victims endured, and it has become clear that the filmmakers and I are not aligned in that creative vision. Kirby Dick and Amy Zurig are talented filmmakers, I have great respect for their mission, but given the filmmaker to desire to premiere the film at the Sundance Film Festival, before I believe it is complete, I feel it is best to step aside. I will be working with Time's Up to support the victims who are impacted by abuse and harassment. Now, Russell Simmons, on his IG, thanked Oprah Winfrey for stepping away, and here's what he had to say. Dearest Oprah, you have been a shining light to my family and my community contributing so much to my life that I could not list a fraction of it in this blog. I'll be giving you the gift of meditation and the groundbreaking book, The Power of Now. We bonded to say the least. This is why it's so troubling that you choose me to single out in your recent documentary. I've already admitted to being a playboy, more appropriately titled a woman either, sleeping with and putting myself in more compromising situations than almost any man I know. Not eight or 14,000 like Warren Betty or Will Chamberlain, but still it's an embarrassing number. So many that some could reinterpret or reimagine a different recollection of the same experiences. Your doc is focused on three hand chosen women. I have refused to get in the mud with any accuser, but let's acknowledge what I've shared. I have taken and passed nine three hour lie detector tests taken from my daughters. That these stories have been passed on by CNN, NBC, BuzzFeed, New York Post, New York Mag, and others. Now that you reviewed the facts and should have learned what I know, that these stories are unusable and that hurt people hurt people. Today I received a call from my old girlfriend from the early 80s, which means that they are using my words, evidence against me, and their commitment. All of the claims are 25 to 40 years old. It is impossible to prove what happened 40 years ago. But in my case, proof exists of what didn't happen. Mostly signed letters from their own parents, siblings, roommates, band members, interns, and in the case of two of your three accusers, their own words and their books. Shocking how many people have misused their important, this important, powerful revolution for relevance and money. In closing, I am guilty of exploiting, supporting, and making the soundtrack for a grossly unequal society. I have been unconsciously callous, but I have never been violent or forced myself on anyone. Still, I am here to help support a necessary shift in power and consciousness. Let us get to work on uplifting humanity and put this moment, an old narrative, 
behind us love you uncle rush now he puts a picture of oprah and himself sitting there looking like they're having a very enjoyable time a great conversation oprah winfrey the headlines are stating that she stepped down and a lot of the narrative can be twisted or kind of steered toward her showing support of russell simmons but i gotta admit i'm not gonna lie her statement did not um tell me or show me that she was showing um solidarity toward russell simmons it kind of shows me that the two sides the producers and herself did not creatively see something that was in balance and she stepped away but she made it very clear that she believes all women involved and in this situation because we have a, a, a hard line drawn in the sand because we have men who have taken advantage of a lot of women and a lot of victims are out here that don't have a voice and are voiceless because of the men that are happen to be in power that they were victimized toward but there are a lot of women who see dollar signs who see a lot of come up men as well because i believe the two gentlemen in leaving neverland are looking nothing more than money no different than any woman accusing any man of wrongdoing i believe that that narrative get twisted and you can kind of piggyback off of a story that may have almost happened to you and seemingly find truth in that story even though evidence will prove proof will show the truth will show that these things didn't occur the way a lot of these women are claiming they went down now in the situation of russell simmons he admitted being a womanizer he admitted sleeping with multiple women he admitted doing wrong but he never assaulted a woman and those two things are very very different 